Ninth and 10th wasn't the best in high school. Picked on. My mom was going through some issues at the time too, so I had left home. Um, I had moved to Florida. I tried to finish school over there. And um, the bullying kept going. Like, bullying was everywhere. I thought I was like, you know what, let me move to another state. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. But I'm like, did y'all know each other or something? <laughs> like, my hometown, did y'all like connect and say, hey, let's, let's just bug on him over here too. And I felt like if it was me, but it's just, everybody's like, it's all about appearance. Well, at the time, it was all about appearances and who's who, who knows who, who's cool and not, and it sucked. My little cousin, <clears throat> he is going through, well, now he's going through the cancer, chemo right now. But um, sometime last year, um, he wanted some certain game or something, they were picking on him. I was like, wait a minute, why are they picking on you? Oh, because I don't have it. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. So this automatically clicked on me. I'm like, wait a minute. So just because he, does, he doesn't have it, he's a bum, or he's like the kid that doesn't have anything, I don't know, he's gonna get that game, but he just can't get it now. This is my hometown in Jersey, which is like two hours away from me. I took a day off, I went over there, not to cause of a fight or anything, but I wanna approach the kid's parent or something. And I stood outside, I saw my little cousin, He's coming, he's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, oh no, you know, just wanted to see how are you and everything. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, you know what's funny? That's the little kid right there. I'm like, what? The kid that said you were a bum? I'm like, oh, okay. I walked right over. I'm like, hey, what's up? I introduced myself to the kid. I was gonna bully on him or, or attack him because I'm, I'm an adult. So, but he could tell that something was coming. Um, his mom happened to be there. And I'm like, listen, she was Spanish. I talked to her in Spanish. She looked like a lady. She didn't know how to defend herself in English. I was like, listen, there was a, a situation with your son and my cousin. I came all the way from New York because I don't think it's appropriate for your son to say this to my cousin. Oh my God, I didn't think he was like that. I don't uh, you know, testify for that, that type of stuff. I don't, da -da -da. that's fine, I'm just letting you know, that's not cool. You know, if he doesn't have the game, he doesn't have the game, but I don't think that's right. That little kid, I don't know what happened, but he literally was about to cry. I'm like, I'm sorry, but don't do that to nobody else because I think bullying is wrong. Say, like, but I didn't mean to bully, but you know, it's cool. And the mom felt so bad, but it felt so good. My cousin felt like I was a hero. He was like, oh my God, I love you. Like, you do this to me. You're like, no, I'm just making sure you're good. You know, you're a family. So it felt good because it goes flashback to when I was younger. If I had that type of help, it would have been so cool. So me doing that, I mean, it's many, many stories like that, but just for helping my cousin, my little cousin, it was just the best feeling ever.